Hi everyone. Well, you can probably tell from the smile on my face. It has to be a Friday, right? We made it through another week. It's Friday. It's time to kick back, relax, just get ready to have a great weekend. Maybe go out for dinner somewhere or do takeout or maybe your family makes dinner for you on Friday nights. Wouldn't that be something special? Well, maybe you'd rather go out. But anyway, so you know how we're going to celebrate. And not only is it Friday, it's the first video that I'm doing for the month of February. So we have to be all dressed up in red for Valentine's month. And to celebrate, we're going to have a little bit of dinner. We're going to have a little bit of wine. Maybe a lot of bit of wine. I get to pull out my glass from last year. I think I got this one last year. So it's wine, kisses, and Valentine wishes. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome to my home, welcome to my channel and welcome to another Friday Night Wine Diaries at Nancy's. So anyway, it is the first video that I'm doing, the first wine diary that I'm doing in February. And like the past few Februaries, I try to dress up either in red or pink or something kind of like that to kind of get through the month of February just to celebrate Valentine's month. We will have a change up on Mardi Gras day though. So we have Mardi Gras the same month again. So I'll have to dress a little bit differently that day. But anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for taking time out of your Friday to visit with me. I appreciate you guys so much. You guys, you guys really come through for me and I appreciate you guys more than you know. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to my channel, <laughs> <coughs> I am going to be so happy when this cough is gone. Hands down, I'm going to be happy. You're going to see me do a happy dance on this channel. So anyway, if you are new to my channel, I hope you take a second. Hit that little red subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and join us for future videos. And your comments, of course, are always welcome, especially when it comes well, when it comes to anything but I love hearing your suggestions and what you're doing on your Friday what you're doing on your weekend what kind of wines do you like what kind of wine should I try and just just have a lot of fun I just love just getting a chance to sit down and chit chat with everyone share a little bit of dinner and a little bit of wine and it's just it just makes Friday nights so much fun it's something to look forward to every week so thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart so anyway, what are we doing today? We are going to have Splash, and I'll have that first video that I did with my Splash wine a couple of weeks ago. I'll have that up there, explain a little bit more about the wines. The wine we are having tonight is going to be a Malbec wine, and this one is Buenos Aires Malbec. It's a new wine, 2023. It just has a twist-off cap, and let's see if we got any interesting stuff back here. So it says, whatever you uncork at Buenos Aires wine, you will be transported to the streets filled with bohemian style neighborhoods, overflowing with poetry and colors. You will discover wines that seem to sing tangos, full of verses inviting you to dance. Welcome to the place where cultures merge together. I already think it said some other things. Let's see if anything that's just as pairing with red meat and general pasta and cheese temperatures between 15 and 17 degrees Celsius and it's got some tasting notes things like that it does just have a screw cap so let's kind of get this open let it breathe a little bit I did bring in my aerator as well so let's put this in Sometimes if you don't put this in just right, it just kind of leak and make a little mess, especially when it comes to red wines and a white carpet. Alrighty, so for dinner, um, I bought some steak tips, beef sirloin steak tips from Target. So it's bur bourbon, black pepper, beef sirloin steak tips. So they were already seasoned. And um, yeah, so I just put a little bit of olive oil in my pan. I chopped up some onions and peppers and some minced garlic, kind of cooked that all in there. Add a little bit of teriyaki sauce just to kind of give it a little flair. And then I chopped up the beef steps, 
beet tips. Cook them in there. They are nice and tender. And then for my rice, I just picked up this Innovation, this fried vegetable fried rice, and I just thought that would go really good under it right here. If it was in the summer, probably instead of rice, I might put it over a salad or something like that. But anyway, that's my dinner tonight with this Buenos Aires wine. And I bought this Valentine's. I'm a klutz. What can I say? So I bought this glass last year on Etsy. If I can remember who I bought it from, I will uh, log her in the uh, description below. I just thought it was a cute glass for Valentine's. I think it's my only Valentine's glass. So wine, kisses, and Valentine wishes. Alrighty, so let's take the napkin out and let's pour a little bit of the wine, shall we? So I hope everyone had a fabulous, fabulous week. I hope it went through issue free. And if you did have some issues, I hope that you would get, I hope that you got them all cleared up so that when the weekend came, you could do cartwheels out the building and out to your car. So when it's a dice, deep purple. It is coating my glass. Not as much as I've seen others, so it has to probably be somewhere between 13 and 15, no, 13 and 14 percent, I would say. But anyway, it does coat my glass a little bit. Mmm, it smells really good. So I'm smelling plums, maybe some cherries. Alrighty, I'm going in. Cheers, everyone. Happy Friday. I hope this is the best weekend of your life. I hope if you got this kind of crappy crud that came around around Christmas time, I hope yours is gone. Cheers, everyone. Mm. It is nice. It's not as dry as I thought the Malbec was going to be, but it is dry. You can feel it right at the top of your palate up here and uh, right in here. You can just kind of feel it dry just a little bit. I get the sensation it was probably aged in an oak barrel. There is a lot of acidity back here. Uh, as soon as you kind of swirl it around a little bit, it gets to the back of your mouth. The fruit, the acids from the soup, fruit kind of kick in, and it just kind of makes your mouth water. It kind of makes those flavors just kind of come alive back there. It's definitely, I can tell it tastes cherries. I can taste plums. I'm not sure what else, but it is, it's a nice dry wine. I think it's going to go really perfect with my dinner. I'm just going to have another quick sip, and then I'll tell you what my cheat notes, cheat sheets say. Cheers, everyone. It's very smooth. It's got a nice texture. I'm not going to say that. It's, I'm going to say it's more like a medium body. Um, but it does have a smoothness to it. Maybe like a mocha or a vanilla or something like that. It's added just to kind of make it nice and smooth. Alrighty. So let's put that down. Carefully. Alrighty. Alrighty. So for my Splash Wine Notes. Um, this was my first box from Splash. And this wine is from Argentina, and it's Buenos Aires Malbec 2023. So uh, Malbec grapes with a deep purple intensity spent years being looked down upon in France and were never used as more than a filler in red blends. It wasn't until a Frenchman who immigrated to the Mendoza region of Argentina realized that the problem wasn't in the varietal but instead in the growing climate of France. It simply did not agree with the grapes in the same way as the dry climate of the Southern Hemisphere. Malbec is now synonymous with Argentina. Buenos Aires Malbec gives off intense aromas of red fruits, plums, and raspberries. It is well-structured and balanced with a rich complexity. Smooth, round tannins, very well balanced with sweetness and lasting finish. Like most Melbecks, the Buenos Aires pairs well with steak. Um, so varietal Melbeck, the um, alcohol content, it's 13%. It says it's got notes of plums and cherries and balanced with a hint of vanilla. And it says pair with your favorite grilled beef. Alrighty, so I'm going to have a taste. 
taste of my dinner here. So if you're having dinner, I hope you're enjoying your dinner as well. I'm just going to just taste a little bit of the rice first. I do love the Innovations rice. I also like my P.F. Chang's and the lo mein and things like that are really good to have with stuff like this. A quick bite here. Mmm. Steak tips. They're nice. They're flavorful. They're nice and tender. I didn't cook them all the way through because I knew it was going to still kind of cook in the pan when I finished cooking it with the hot teriyaki and the, the vegetables in there. And it's just like the perfect, perfect beef steps, steak step, steak tips. Holy moly. Cheers, everyone. Perfect wine. I'm going to really enjoy my dinner. <coughs> I really enjoyed getting a chance to chit chat with everyone again. And I want to thank you guys again for stopping in, spending part of your Friday night with me. I hope everyone goes out and has a fabulous night, fabulous, fabulous weekend. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. Love you guys so much. And I can't wait to see you in our next video. Bye-bye.